Sunday, everyone. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. I hope everyone is having a blessed, blessed, fantastic day today. And what would you want to talk about, Daddy? Well, I just want to give a short message and um, maybe a small ins inspirational uh, testimony from my wife. She was telling me a story earlier and uh, I thought it would be good to share it with you all. And the story was like how God did a miracle in our lives through my wife and how we were homeless at one time. Yeah. And uh, how we got an apartment, now we got a place to live. We were homeless for um, um, two months and a half. Two months and a half. And God just miraculously uh, provided for us. And uh, He's a good God. And uh, just, you know, appreciating the good things that God has given to us and did for us. So we want to share the good news with you all. Okay, what's the story you told me again? So I was telling you about. I was telling you about like here in California, if you live in California and you have kids and you are, we were homeless by then, like we were homeless two months and a half as we, to, as we told them. Um, they can only give you 16 days of hotel. They can only give you 16 days hotel per family. So basically in 16 days we already no, have... No, it was actually seven days. No, 16 days. 16, okay. No, 16 days. And then in that 16 days, you need to be able to start, you know, basically, you, you, have, we, we, you and I keep looking for an apartment. And for some reason, you know, we, nobody called, nobody called back and everything, maybe because of our credit. I don't know, but for just the circumstances thing. But for some reason, they went through the point where, we all we went back there and it's already 16 days and we went back there and I, we told them that we haven't have you know the apartment yet we nobody called us at all so we don't know where to, to go you know so what happened to it it went through the point that we were we were so like heartbroken like we're so scared we don't know where we're gonna go we don't want to sleep in the street you know so for some reason, they were the night where we prayed. We prayed so hard. We even kneeled down. We even kneeled down and really prayed harder. And then we prayed to God that God will provide us a, a miracle, which is an apartment, a house, whatever it is, a place where we can live together safely. So for some reason, it took, you know, in the next day, God has shown himself. I'm telling you guys, we we actually kneel down. We really, really pray hard and really kneel on the floor, you know, when we were in the hotel in Chico, California. And we really, you know, pray hard and really give everything to God. And he did the miracle. The next day, early, you know, the next day, Honey, you need to be, the next day, uh, the next day, you left so early and everything, and then, you know, you did some action, you know, we were so scared, we don't know what to do in every way, but God has revealed himself by showing that we got that apartment, which is where we are right now. Which was a great blessing and a miracle in itself. I mean, the process alone was an extensive leap of faith, especially being homeless, not knowing, you know, yeah, where are we going to go? I mean, we're trying to establish our own lives for our own little family. It was, you know, we had uh, Adam. It was, that time, was like... Uh, he was two years old. Two, two years ago, probably, I think. And we just only had Adam. Serata wasn't born yet. So me, Adam, and Mommy homeless yeah. trying to find shelter but yeah. other than that mm -hmm. we got on our knees prayed faithfully diligently every day not just every day every minute because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we didn't want our son to suffer mm -hmm. and you know so we wanted to you know do something about that and god did something miraculously and you know 
in and out through our lives, especially through my wife, a powerful prayer word. Like, I have not seen this woman get on her knees and pray, 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 pray. I was like, wow. She's like, you know. She, yeah, but anyways, I, yeah. yeah. I, I, I really do. I really do thank God. I thank God for that. Yeah, I thank cried. God for I mean, where we, we cried are. together. We prayed together. We held hands. And I don't know what some things just kind of came together. Yeah, that is God's miracle, and that that I think God is letting us know. I just wanna we want we wanna share you guys that God is working to your life right now. Please open your eyes and see His work, and pray and appreciate and praise Him. And I'm telling you, God will never let you down he will save you wherever you are right now in this situation he will protect you he would love you and he would comfort you we just really 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 open our heart and pray and close your eyes and really just give everything to him just like what we did when we thought we don't have no place to live especially when you have child you get you get scared you don't want them to suffer so, but God has shown us, as long as you believe in me, and I would not let you down. And I will protect you and bless you. That's how much he loves us. So guys, that's the testimony. One testimony that we want to inspire everyone, whatever you're going through right now with your life, God will be done and God will provide. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you like this video. God bless.